Hi guys, in this video we will learn about pi value, how to calculate this pi value and why the pi value is used in the area of the circle. And look at in the diagram there is a circle, this indicates radius we all know. The area of the circle is pi r square, here r is radius, pi is a value special value it contains the value is 3.14 we all know but what exactly this pi value why exactly the pi value is 3.14 and what is the relationship between this pi and to this circle we are going to learn here so what is this pi actually pi is a ratio ratio of two different two different distances on a circle on a circle okay so we know this is a pi is equals to what are the two distances is the two distances here is circumference circumference and another one is diameter okay these two are the distances. So now what is this? How to the, the value of pi is pi is equals to circumference divided by its diameter. Diameter is the phi value. So what is the circumference? Circumference we know this is the circumference and diameter is this one so the circumference is circumference is divided by its diameter will get this pi value so now let us see in this diag in this circle there is a d diameter let us look at here this is a d for example we are going to be just bend this diameter so you will get in the circumference the first there is one diameter is this one and another diameter covers this is this and another diameter is covers this this is one 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 and remaining part is actually the size is 0 0.14 so total one 1 1 so 3.14 so this is the why we normally use 3.14 value in this one and let us do the same in the practical manner with how to get its circumference is divided by diameter normally this pi value is the same for irrespective same for the any any size of the circle irrespective size of the circle the pi value we are able to get it 3.14 with the circumference is divided by its diameter. Let us see this practically in this video. Now for to do this practically in this video for this experimentation we need three required objects one is is kind of a bangle it can be considered as a circle and another object is thread and one more object is scale so now look at as for this formula circumference of the circle divided by its diameter is equals to pi value so now look at assume that this is a circle so for this circle you need to find the circumference so I normally used here to find the circumference here circumference here like this look at look at look at this so it's bit thin so now here we need to find out this is the point where we need to look at so now this is going to be calculate the value is the value is here look at I got here the value approximately 19.1 19.1 19 
19.1. So, my circumference of this is 19.1 divided by, so now I need to calculate its diameter. The diameter I am going to be calculate, the diameter going to be calculate. So, this one, but better is that from 0 angle to 180 angle, we will get a better value. So, this is this is diameter value. Now I am going to be calculate. I am going to be measure in the scale. This is approximately six point one. Approximately six point one. So now we need to simplify. I mean, now we need to calculate nineteen point one divided by 6.1 is equals to 3 point 3 point 1 3 1 1 4 7 5 4 1 so here approximately the value of this pi value is 3.14 and Actually, this pi value is a. Uh, it is a non-repeatable value. It is going to be calculated. So now look at here. We got approximately, approximately the pi value is 3.14. So this is the way we need to know the value of phi. Okay. Thank you.